Welcome onto the Nürburgring car park. The first thing that you can see, if you know the previous generation Polo, is that, what are you doing? Is that you, the, the interior quality has jumped massively forward. Again, this is built on the Golf platform and also on the interior, it is a lot more closer to the Golf than the previous Polo was. So we have here the digital dash, which on the pre-facelift was an option. I believe on the facelift model it is now standard. And for the rest also all the other nice features. Now, when we go on the track, very important thing to do with the Polo is to switch off traction control, or usually when I used to be an instructor, I would tap it once because it says deactivated, and then on top it would say front assist not available. Because otherwise front assist is just, when the car is braking in front of you, it would just, just is it fully sports uh yeah okay now on the manual mode the car would brake so hard that sometimes would cause dangerous situations so that's kind of like a non-trackable aspect of the car but for the rest the car is as mentioned is running stock suspension with h and r lowering springs it has ma 45b brake pads that's why the braking performance is really good uh, but suspension is stock Michelin PS4 tires, because the PS4S are not available for in this size. But overall, a very good tire, offers lots of drivability and control. Also with the whole package. As you can see, we are going completely through the first sections of the track effortlessly. It is a very well balanced package, especially in the first couple of sections of the track, Hatzenbach, where the drivability and so to say handling are very important especially after this section so go here on the brakes turning in and brake again we stay off the curbstone but these assets through Hatzenbach you have so much control and again we're talking about the pretty much stock car where you don't need to take the curbstones and the car just does pretty much what we want it to do it is amazing we have absolutely no effort like having to drive it um, yeah, and this is why it makes it such a great overall, not only beginner's car, but also advanced driver's car, because if you don't know what you're doing, the car will save you. If you know what you're doing, you can go pretty fast through certain corners, like we're doing like 160 here through Flugplatz, it's of course not the fastest, but for this car it's just quite okay for the setup that we are running. And oh, our favorite was always in the wet or still is polo in the wet whether it's the previous generation or current generation it always stood out and that was our always go-to car to show you the brake performance here again light car with very good brakes allow you to go very confident into armberg amazing yeah, wet performance is again phenomenal because the car is light, the car is nimble with the smaller size tires and when you only have mission of PS4S for it available, PS4, or sorry, PS4, not PS4S. Um, just gonna make it easy through here. Okay, okay, now he's indicating and we can go. Always be aware of other road users. Another section, I don't know, force where drivability is very important. As you can see, uh, just a gentle tap on the curb there. We have a G3 RSMR behind us. Off we go. Yeah, I really, really, really love this car, as you can tell so far. So why did we then end up or are taking it out of our fleet if the car is so good, if the car made us even put it instead of the Golf in the first place. The issue are the driving, not the driving dynamics, but the driving running costs. Are we safe? We're safe, good, up we go. Um, the running costs, because as mentioned, the car is running a Volkswagen Golf platform. All majority of things, but other components to still reduce costs are actually Volkswagen Polo or actually not suited for heavy abuse. So you have similar engine, two liter, uh, 200 horsepower, four-cylinder, turbocharged. Uh, 
you have similar body. I don't know exact values at this point, but I will insert somewhere the, the overlay so you can see. But everything else regarding suspension wise, suspension components, just slowing down here for speed limit. You don't have to go too crazy, fully 50, but just to make sure that there's no one coming out of here. No one's gonna be mad at you for doing 80 as long as it's not 130. Um, all the suspension components are not made for this kind of power and abuse. This means the stock suspension is okay, that's fine, but the, uh, the consumables, the wear and tear items, the brakes, the stock brakes are of course, like on any other stock car, are not the best. But the issue with this, since the Polo is not such a favorite platform, there is a very little choice of brake pads and brake discs. Currently we're running MSMA 45B, that's a slot leak available for this. Uh, otherwise you only have, I think, two other manufacturers that you can get for. Brake discs, nothing available. Stock discs that keep on cracking which is, of course, less than ideal. Moreover, wheel bearings cannot cope with the horsepower that you throw at them or the temperatures that the brakes can generate. So you go through wheel bearings quite often. The worst thing is on the rear axle, it's a solid beam rear axle. It's not an uh, independent axle like you have on the Golf. And that solid beam keeps on cracking quite often. We obviously inspect our collars quite often, depending on the times that they go out on the track or just like every X amount of days or weeks if they are standing still during the off season. And we see that the rear axle beam is actually getting some micro cracks in it that eventually could become big cracks. And that's something that you don't want to have. Then moreover, the gearbox. This is a six-speed gearbox. It is also not that great. I believe the car has been already twice to the dealer to solve some issues, so to say. It was all done under warranty, so that's all done, all fine, but it is not as strong as the gearbox that you can find on a Mark 7 Golf. Moreover, for some reason, the previous generation DSG Polo was running a seven-speed gearbox and this one has a six-speed gearbox so if you use it as a daily the previous gen polo is probably a bit better choice because you can get a better fuel consumption out of it it's also 1.8 liter turbo engine so a bit less displacement and better gear ratios can probably offer you better fuel consumption if this is what you're after but overall yeah it's quite quite a good car so yeah these small minor things on the long run made us say like hey it just from business perspective makes no sense to run this car because there are lots of you keep on servicing the car you keep on replacing the crack brake discs you keep on checking the rear beam axle we also had the wheel bolts coming loose because they become either too hot or they cannot withstand the vibrations and we had to replace them for uh, for the stud conversion kit and again, this is um, something that shouldn't be happening, but this is happening because the components are simply not made for the speeds that the car can achieve. So as we're approaching the end of the lap, pretty much, we jump and the car bounces slightly. Um, as we are approaching the end of the lap, let's talk about the conclusion. I really love the Polo. If you are have to make the choice between the Polo and the Golf the GTI, you probably should definitely go for the Polo for daily use. It pretty much goes without saying that you should go for the Polo uh, because it's pretty much the same car, but for far less money. But if you're going to track it, you really need to go through a couple of mods before you can do it safely. And you have to be aware of the limitations that there is not that many components you can get for this car whereas for the Golf it is quite easy so yeah I'm definitely going to miss this car because it's been great but in our case it's just not well not ideal from, far from ideal all right as we finish the lap let's talk Let's see if we can find Robert, maybe he can give his two cents before we uh, say goodbye to this baby.